As we all know, Bloxburg will be free and get a map revamp in the future. So here are 10 things to do before Bloxburg becomes free. Let's get right into it. The first thing to do is find a neighborhood. When Bloxburg is free, there will be a flood of new players and public servers may be chaotic for a bit. Having a neighborhood to go to when you want to play alone or with friends will be super useful. It will make working and building easier with fewer players on the server. You can buy your own, use a friends, or join a YouTubers. Feel free to use my neighborhood if you like. The code will be on the screen. Second is to secure your house. When Bloxburg is free, you probably don't want random players going inside your house or on your plot, so now is a great time to add some security if you haven't already. Make sure to lock your outside doors for guests, add a fence around your house for privacy, and add some security cameras if you want to. Don't forget to add curtains or blinds for privacy, and you can even add gateways at the front of your house. Third is to customize your permissions. If you throw parties often, make sure your guest permissions are stricter so people can't just like steal your food, change your decals, or leave your front door open. If you often roleplay or give people co-owner, it's worth making roommate and co-owner permissions stricter as well to prevent the same things. I'd highly recommend turning off delete permissions for co-owners since it's easy to abuse this and for people to just delete your entire house. Next is to build a business. Public servers will be way more popular after the game is free, which is great for any business. You can make a cafe, a restaurant, be an Uber driver, etc. You could also build a hotel or apartments for people to rent out. An Uber driving business would be amazing when the game is free, since we're also getting a map revamp, so more people will need cars to move around. Businesses make the game more fun for new players and help you make money fast without working. I'd highly recommend doing this, especially since the jobs currently make less money. Next is to level up your skills. We can predict what will be updated before or when the game is free based on the previous updates. The skills will probably be updated to be like the athletic skill with more levels, more awards, but harder to level up. Right now is the best time to level up the skills that matter to you while it's still easier to do that. I'm focusing on my gardening and cooking skills the most. When the skills are updated, your progress will transfer and you should get awards for how far you leveled up. For example, if you reach level 10 on cooking now, when it's updated, you will probably be at level 30 and get all the extra awards. Next is to collect your trophies and rare items. When the game is free, some trophies and items like the seashell trophy, 1 and 5 billion visit trophies, and seasonal event trophies will be a lot rarer and more valuable. You can make a display of all your rare trophies. They're a nice addition to your house and show how long you've played Bloxburg. Next is to level up your work experience. Right now, the Bloxburg job system has been severely nerfed and the best jobs make much less money. However, it's still worth leveling up your total work experience if you're gonna work. You can level up by working at any job now. This will be very helpful in the future, especially if Bloxburg reverts the decrease pay update since you will make much more money at a higher level. If you don't wanna work though, that leads to my next tip. Next is to save money. With every update, we typically get lots of new build mode items, sometimes new vehicles, seasonal items, food and drinks, and more. As we get more updates, having money saved will be useful, so you can buy whatever you want when it's added. You can save money by working, or you can have a business, make a berry bush farm, make a tip station, and sell plots you don't want anymore. There are so many ways to make money without working, so don't feel forced to work to make money fast, especially if you aren't happy with a decreased pay. I have a video on more ways to make money without working, which will be on the screen now, so feel free to check that out if you're interested. Next is to build a basement trap. This can secure your house, and it's so easy to make. Just make a basement with whatever you want and make sure there is no way to get out like no stairs, no sort of parkour you can do to get out, nothing like that, and then cover it up with a carpet. Color the carpet the same as the grass or whatever surface it's on. Carpets have no collision in Bloxburg, so basically, whoever walks or drives over your carpet will fall into your basement trap and be stuck there with no way to get out. The last thing to do is to keep old houses. If you have the starter house, another pre-built from 2017, or just a house you've made yourself, don't delete it. Bloxburg might remove the rest of the 2017 pre-builds since they've already removed a few. 
So if you have an old pre-built, you should definitely keep it. Having these old houses, or even a house that you built yourself, will be really cool and nostalgic to have in the future, just to look back on what older houses were like before the game changed. Anyway, that is going to be all for this video. Feel free to subscribe for more Bloxburg content. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.